one of our absolute favourite places in Bali and there is so much to do here. So some of our favourite things to do in Ubud are the beautiful nature walks that you can actually do from within Ubud village itself. So we'll start with one of our favourite walks which is through the Kajang village and you end up walking through some beautiful rice fields and you end up at Subak Jubok Manus rice fields. It's literally only minutes away from the busy streets of Ubud village. The one we're on at the moment which is uh, the Kajang rice fields walk. So yeah. it's kind of, the good thing about it is it's an actual loop so you don't need to go and turn around and come back which is nice. Yeah, yeah. so once again it's got, as you can see behind us, we're currently on it and yeah. there are some beautiful rice fields of, in, on this walk, probably some of our favourite yeah. um, that are straight and easily accessible from the U U main part of Ubud. Yeah. So this can be done as a loop and you can either start at Jalan Kajang or you can start just off Jalan Raya Ubud at a sign that says Subak Jurg Manus or Magical Rice Field View in Ubud and Magical it is. Yeah, this is one of our favourite walks in Ubud, so if you're here, definitely do one of these ones. Um, but we're actually just heading for lunch now to actually a new place for us. We're going to Sweet Orange, so we'll let you know how it is. Definitely try the Kajang Rice Fields walk because it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Um, and again, it's only about a five minute walk from the main centre of Uber to get here, so um, super accessible. Another incredible walk to do during your time in Ubud is the Champion Ridge Walk, which is one of the more popular and well-known walks in Ubud. The walk, once you get to the start, the end is about 25 minutes, and then you sort of turn around and come back, so all up, leave yourself about an hour or so. It does get super busy though, so I'd either go early for sunrise or maybe go for sunset as well, just leave enough time to get back if it's not um, pitch black. So to get here, you just head towards Warwick Iver and continue down the hill and over a little bridge. We'll head around a stunning temple and here is where you will start the walk. Hi guys and today we're going to be doing the Champion Ridge walk again. Yes, we've done this walk a few times, it's really, really beautiful. Um, but usually we walk to Casa Cafe and turn around and come back. Yeah, but today I think we're going to try and go at least some version of all the way around in a yeah. loop. We're not 100% sure how that's going to work out. So we'll see, but um, we thought we'd show you the directions and how to get there um, and how to do it yourself. Yeah.
so we're a decent chunk into the walk now. We've come over the main uh, sort of ridge area. We're probably close to Casa Cafe now. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to see if we can continue or not. Yeah. But it's just as beautiful as you remember. It's a really, really good walk. Definitely do it if you're in Uber. Yeah. A little bit busier this time around. But it's still, if you come early enough, it's still yeah. peaceful in parts. And it, it doesn't take away from it though. It's a really beautiful scenic yeah. walk. after the ridge finishes we're yeah. uh, getting to Casa Cafe yeah so we'll, we'll give you a give you a look we're not going to stop today yeah. but it's a great spot to stop for like a juice or breakfast or something yeah so you can turn around before Casa Cafe um, but this is usually the sort of point where you'd come to have a drink and then turn around and go back yeah but today we're going to try and continue around and do a loop so we'll let you know how it goes Well, that was a, a failure. <laughs> well, not, not a failure. We had a really good walk and we've just ended up at Jungle Fish. Yeah, so we've made it all the way up here. Um, we've asked a few places along the way and apparently there's just no way to cross the river. Yeah. So we're going to head back. Which I must admit I'm surprised about because we've read a lot of people comment yeah. about being able to make it across the two yeah. uh, over the river. So I'm not saying like it's not possible, but from yeah. what we've found today, we, we've tried some un, unmarked paths, we've tried asking lots of people, we've tried looking on the maps about where things could join and we haven't had any luck. No, so if anyone knows how to do it, let us know, but um, yeah. so far we're just going to turn, I yeah. think. I think so. The walk itself is just as beautiful as you remember it. Yeah. And so definitely something worth doing when you're here in Ubud. It's really, really beautiful. Um, it's completely different to what you experience in Ubud village itself. Um, yeah. It's only a quick walk out of Ubud, so yeah. definitely do it. Another walk to do is the Sari Organic Walk, which is kind of in between this one and Champion Road. Yeah, um, pretty similar to this walk in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, and same again, it's got a lot of great food and stuff along it as well. Um, and then you can, yeah, you can go and a normal route is to either go and stop at Sari Organic to have some lunch. Pomegranate's um, pretty good too. There's a few other great options. So they're three of the best walks to do from Ubud. Um, you can do them all easily if you're staying in Ubud Village. So don't think if you're staying in Ubud Village that you can't access any of this natural beauty of yeah. Ubud because it is just here. If you're staying outside of Ubud, you'll obviously be surrounded by natural beauty as well. But if you're staying in Ubud, definitely try these three walks because they're all amazing. Even if you're staying in Ubud Village and the main streets there can get a little bit hectic and busy at times, just remember that literally steps away from those main streets, you have all this beauty and peacefulness and it literally is one of the best things to do in Ubud. So we hope you really enjoy your time in Bali and in Ubud. If you need any more information, we've got a blog post linked below to our Bali blog, almostlearning-bali.com. So if you are planning a trip to Bali, we also have our Bali guidebooks linked below, which will also help you plan your trip. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and subscribe for more of our videos.